Friday. Okay, write this. Right. We are going to write. Okay, we are going to learn to write together. And for your level, we are going to focus on descriptive writings. What is descriptive writing? Describe something. Describe something. Okay, if I ask you to describe something, for instance, I ask you to describe this book. that might have happened 
happen to someone. Okay? So you describe, when you describe, you relate using past tense. It has happened. Right? Yeah. Ask questions. You can begin by asking questions. And then definition. You like to define, right? Okay? Recycling is using a dialogue. Okay, what did someone say? <coughs> using a quotation. Okay? Making a firm statement or declaration. Let us look at paragraphs. When you write, you normally write in a paragraph. What should a paragraph contain? A paragraph should have a main idea. And what is the main idea? It tells the readers what the paragraph is all about. <coughs> and then we also have topic sentence in your paragraph. Topic sentence will be the main idea. And then with topic sentence, you have to supply supporting details. More details about your writing. Okay? So far so good? Okay, let us look at this example. People differ in numerous ways. Okay? People differ in many ways. Okay? So I have to like that. Okay? And I put it in the orange color because that is the topic sentence. What do I mean by topic sentence? It controls the idea of my paragraph. I am going to write about how people differ in many ways. So I know I need a topic sentence and the rest are supporting details which will support my idea. What do I say? They differ according to physical characteristics. They also differ in personality. Okay? So when you describe, you give examples and these are supporting details. Okay? Are you clear? So, if I ask you to tell me the topic sentence, what do you think it is? What is the introduction? Shopping? Shopping is really a fun activity. Normally, okay, that is the, okay, yes, introduction is a broad topic. We are going to read about shopping. Okay? And then next, what do you think is the topic sentence? We control the idea of this. What is the topic sentence? Under shopping, what do you have? Look at the line which says there are all kinds of people who go shopping. Now, our concentration is that there are many kinds of people who go shopping and one of them, there are choosy people okay, okay, who take hours to look around. There are those who go out for a specific purpose, just buy what is required and leave. And those who always go to sales and end up buying useless things. So it is actually giving us three types of people who go shopping. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So if I ask you to put it in the form of this table, this is what it is all about. You have that okay, main idea. There are all kinds of people who go shopping. And then what are the details? The choosy ones. Those who go out for specific purpose and those who go out go to sales and end up by useless things. So which one are you? Number two? Girls? Number one? Okay. Three. Three. So can you see the connection when you write? Okay. All right. When you write, sometimes you use linkers or signal words. Okay. Look at these sentences. How are they different? The tiger escaped. 
the zookeeper came. The tiger escaped, so the zookeeper came. The zookeeper came because the tiger escaped. The tiger escaped, although the zookeeper came. Is there a change of meaning in each sentence? No. The first one, can you tell me? The tiger escaped, the zookeeper came. Which one happened first? Tiger escaped and zookeeper came. Number two, the tiger escaped, so the zookeeper came. Why did the zookeeper come? Because the tiger escaped. If the tiger did not escape, will the zookeeper come? No. He will sleep like that one. Okay, Shima wrote this. One day a boy 
was walking on the road. There was a lot of traffic on the road. He saw a cat running on the road. He stopped the cat. The cat's owner thanked him. If I ask you to imagine, okay, do you have a lot of information about the boy, about the cat, about the owner of the cat? Do you have a lot of information regarding them or you do not have it? No, it's not given in the story, right? How about this one? Dawood wrote this. So, Rosaini, can you read this aloud? <clears throat> it was a fine day. The sun was shining. The birds were singing and Ilham, Ilham felt very happy. He sang as he walked to school. When he came to the main road there was a lot of traffic. The road was crowded. There were buses, lorries and cars and vans. It was noisy. Suddenly, Ilhan saw a cat. It was beautiful. It had teeth, white fur, and a long tail. It was trying to cross the road. Ilhan knew the cat was would get killed, so he ran. He ran and caught the cat. He gave the cat to the to his owner. The owner was very happy. She thanked Ilhan and said he was very kind. So, thank you. So, which story do you like better? Oh, 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 oh. Story. Okay. Compared to Shima's story, what is the difference? Lack detail. Lack supporting detail. What do you say? Dao is a better writer? Because Dao is a boy. Okay. Why do you like Dao's story? More details. <coughs> longer. Yes, longer. Now use a lot of adjectives. Can you see the power of adjectives? If I ask you to describe the cat, can you imagine the cat? Okay. You can describe the cat because now it says it was beautiful. It had thick white fur and a long tail. So you can imagine the cat. If I ask you to draw the cat, you can draw for me. If I ask you to draw the scenery, okay, the main road and the traffic, what will you draw for me? And the traffic light, what will you draw for me? Lorries, buses, cars, vans. So this is what I mean. You have to write using adjectives to make your description clear. Okay? Any question? So the first clue is you have to be specific instead of general. If you write, normally if you write one day, you might want to write last Friday. Or you want to write one fine day. Be specific. If you often write a boy, maybe you want to name the boy. Aliman. Alimi. Alimi is Aliman's brother. If you often write, they took their things. You can describe the things they took their fishing rods, some food and drinks. Describe what are the food and drinks. Some sandwiches, a few bottles of orange juice. Be more creative. Describe. You will get more marks for that. Okay? Look at this one. Alibi, can you read this aloud? It was a nice day. I had a nice idea of going for a picnic by the seaside. We all agreed that the picnic would be nice. So we packed a big basket with nice sandwich and greens. We had a nice ride on the bus and took a ride at the beach. 
wonderful day. Okay. Finland has a billion. Billion idea. Oh, you want a picnic by the side be of the place that picnic would be would be great. Would be great. So we have a big budget. Delicious, delicious, and we we have a enjoy, enjoy. We have an enjoyable ride. On the bus and so arrive at the beach. The sea look beautiful, beautiful, and all the passengers are equally.
clear about your story. Okay? And then when you write, you have finished, you will end with a conclusion. A conclusion size up the loose end and give readers a summary. Okay? So you can summarize in there are many ways to do this. Normally you end with a model value. Okay? So these are the So normally when you write, you have to remember all this. Correct grammar, good vocabulary, relevant topic, proper paragraphing, correct spelling and punctuation, creative ideas, and good elaborations. Okay? Right? So any questions so far? Alright, now, I would like you to turn to your textbook. Okay? Previously, I did ask you what is the title of the story? The bird who wouldn't fly. Do you understand the story? Yes. Alright. Now, I would like you to get into groups and okay, do a very quick presentation based on your understanding of this story. Okay, all right, so, okay, all of you have read the story, so today you are going to tell me the story, okay? You are going to tell me the story. So this group, you are going to write the plot, okay? The plot is the summary of what happens in the story, okay? So it is up to you how you want to do it in the form of a table, a flow chart up to you. But make it okay as short as possible so that it is easier for us to understand. Okay? This group, girls, you are going to write about the characters. Describe the characters. What are the characters? Name their names. And how do you describe the characters? Okay? So use as many adjectives to describe them. Okay? Okay? So boys and girls, right? I hope you will go back and reread the story about the bird who wouldn't fly because when after you have presented on Monday, I will ask you all to do an expansion activity on writing. We will write further about the story. Okay? So the title would be If there is one thing about the story that you could change, what would it be? Okay? And I want you to write what you want to change. So for instance, you will say, I do not like the ending of the story. If that group doesn't like okay, the ending of the story, they wish they want to change. So what would you like to change? This group would like to <coughs> write something about what happened to the quick wings. Okay? Do you think quick wings will die? Uh, <laughs> so, alright, we will continue writing after that. So, okay? So, let us recap today. All of you managed to learn about concise words. You are more precise. You use adjectives to describe nouns. So you are more precise rather than writing things in general. Okay? And we have come into the introduction of short story. We will hear about it on next Monday. Okay? So I wish you all the best for tonight's exam. Okay? Oops. Okay. Please do your best. Remember, okay, your group is 2 to 8. 2 to 8. Okay, 2 to 8. Alright. So, good luck. I will see you all again, inshallah, next week on Monday. Okay? Thank you for coming. Assalamualaikum.